I thought we I thought we had already picked up Hobo King because I wasn't paying attention. Okay, and I didn't just immediately spit resources on the ground. That's good. Yeah, this is the problem with Hobo King. I'm not actually sure if I'm ever gonna get to the point where there are resources left for me to sell. Well that I mean it's fine if that if that's the case, that's the case. I could go get some more cogs if I wanted to. Um yeah, Hobo King's better than Portal, but we still got to get up to a T8 backpack, though. I mean, more backpack would be nice. Yeah, more backpack. We'll just we'll just keep doing more backpack. Okay, so what's this? Pulls exposed resources towards you. Not the most useful thing, but I like it. Do I get rid of? Let's get rid of synthetic lubricant. I'm probably not using it that much anyway. Double rainbow would be handy, but it's not that substantial. I mean, who knows? Maybe it is. Uh, we might as well go to the oasis and check these things out. Because... Yeah, it looks like the, the main mine is where the interesting stuff kind of is. Wait, what was that? How many sticks do you think I'd need to blow up one of all your cans? I don't know. Okay, yeah, so this is Rosie's storage. Well, this place is creepy. Creepy-ish. Okay, keep an eye out for secret bits, because I'm sure I'm going to miss a couple. Do we get, like, magnet boots or something? It'd be neat if I got magnet boots. Wouldn't double rainbow double income from resources? It'd give me some amount. I should probably go back for it. Got hookshot. Oh. Oh. Okay, can't use it on the metal. Can't use it on the wood. I get you. Oh, this is clever. Mildly inconvenient, but clever. Can I destroy my way out of here? It does not look like it. We get Rosie's dumbbells. Yeah, so I can I can use them wherever wherever I darn well please. That's awesome. Well, almost anywhere I darn well please. As long as it's uh, not a metal section. They are completely usable. What else we got up here? Ooh, goodies. Many goodies. Yeah, I'll go back for the, uh, the other thing. Ah, damn it. Miss this up. I don't know if there's anything in this corner. But I could I guess I can find out. Nope, nothing in this corner. Yeah, so I can practically fly with that. Well, ain't that cool. Ain't this whole thing cool? Wait, can you hang on the mall and uh oh, wall and mine? No, it doesn't look like it. I can wall hang though. But I can't hang on the wall and mine. Oops. I'm glad you found something you could use in my storage. You look prepared. Now I need you to find out where these earthquakes are coming from and stop them. Help me and uh, me uh, uh, help me keep my kin safe. I'm doing all I can just to keep them listening to me. I don't know anything more about the quakes, but maybe you can find a smart bot on the surface. Maybe then I'll find out where Rusty's gone. Finally. Blip. It would be great if you could hang on the wall and, and mine. But we'll have to leave that for later. Okay, yeah, let's go back and get double rainbow. We'll get double rainbow, I think, instead of the portal at this point. Uh, if I've got grappling hook and a couple other things, then... Um, what do you want to do? Cogs. Okay. Yeah, let's get rid of magnetic separator and we'll get rid of... Fasten the light in favor of double rainbow. 
Okay, so what's the grappling hook at? We need a blueprint. There's only one upgrade for it. Oh my, I thought the Splunker station was gone. You managed to find the old hookshot anyway. That thing will just let you zip across the mine like never before. You'll be able to explore every nook and cranny now. These mines are full of hidden secrets waiting to be uncovered. Oh, and we get, we get another blueprint here. Oh, splendid. You've already found ten fascinating artifacts already. To show my appreciation, I shall hand you a blueprint for my stack. I'll give you another blueprint. Okay, pocket of fair frayer. Uh, that's interesting. What do we got? What is this? One extra chunk of ore per regular slot. That is pretty ridiculous, but we're gonna have to farm some money probably. Yeah, you get uh, water and everything back freely. That's super helpful. Professor, you're a smart bot. Do you think these earthquakes could be bot made? You mean, is something generating the earthquakes? That would actually explain the particularly specific epicenter of the latest seismic activity. It came right out of the temple of that crazy doom cult. So it's possible? If you want to test this hypothesis, you must cross the windy plains to the temple to the east and investigate. Oh. Okay. That's different. Okay, upgrades. Actually, okay, we got some things here. So let's get rid of wet, wet bomb. That's not that useful. Um, da -da 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 -da. What do we do now? What else? I'll take that off, maybe? We need bounty hunter. Honestly, I don't really need portal pardon either. Go with this then. I want to get pocket of Freyr. We're gonna go farming. Okay. Because if I go back all the way here, this game seems a lot larger and more diverse than the first one. I cannot wait to play it. Dude, it is so good. They like aced this and then some. I wish I I wish I could jump and mine at the same time. I think that's my only like real grump. Um, but like this is just such a solid product, through and through. Okay, so we got something over on the left. Don't know how to get to it though. Never mind. I know exactly how to get to it. I think once we got our bag space, like, really buffed up, I'm probably going to start going for, um... I'm going to... Oh, yeah. Okay, that that doubling upgrade has already helped a lot. When is this game coming out? Tomorrow? It's either tomorrow or the day after. It's soon. And this isn't, like, you know, digital extreme soon. This is, like... Sometime this week, I just haven't been paying attention because I got access to it early. Yeah, so okay, two days. Two days from today. And I am just going to be I'm just going to be playing the the uh butts out of it in the meantime. Taunting you all with my sweet sweet uh press copy. I'm sorry. I, I do always feel a little bit bad when I have like access to a game way, way before like anybody else does. Oh right, I've got a grappling hook. I can just ignore that. 20 second is also Path of Fire. 20 second is also Hob. If you guys are uh, are fans of the Torchlight games, their next game is coming out uh, the same day as this, which means uh, that's why I'm playing this so uh, excessively now. Uh, Cause if I don't, I ain't gonna have time for everything. Like I'm not gonna have time for everything. And that's a problem, because I, I need to I need to be able to cover everything here. Otherwise it's gonna be a problem. Where was that um There was a there was a chunk of something around here. I wasn't paying attention though. Ah, it's my fault. Oh there it is.
Yeah, so we do have to watch out for that a little bit. Yeah, looks like uh, duping stuff is really helpful. And secret? No secret. Looked like kind of a secrety spot. But yeah, let's uh, yeah. Let's just destroy birds. I really wish I could hang and mine at the same time. Would be nice. Would definitely make it a lot easier getting some of the stuff. But yeah, the uh, the duping item really is rather handy. Nothing there. We got a bit of a mess all over the place, but that's that's okay. God, that grappling hook is so good. The only problem is uh, getting it specifically. Yeah, I know I could farm money off of them, but it just seems like a giant nuisance. Okay, come on. Unfortunately, it's kind of hard to fight these guys sometimes, but not always impossible, actually. This is really helpful. Just say you need a bird catcher. Sure. I mean, I've got a bird sploder. Does a bird sploder count? Because I feel like a bird sploder should should count pretty, pretty well against uh, bird catchers, or, well, birds in general. It'd be really rad to play a game like this someday that's multiplayer. I don't know what the multiplayer would entail, it'd just be kind of fun to, like, go into a mine with a friend and come out with, like, mad resources. Like, I, I always liked it in Terraria, except for Terraria was too combat-focused in my mind. Uh, this is much more like uh, old-school platforming, so the enemies are just kind of obstacles, as opposed to, like... In Terraria, every enemy was, like, a super crazy, like, screw-you murder brawl. And I never quite liked that. Okay, looks like the birds are just about as blind as everything else. Except for this this way, they come with bloodstones. Let's see. Do we keep going down a little bit further? Sure. Let's make sure I can do this. This is Minecraft. Minecraft never really to fit my fancy. things kind of suck. Oh, there's another one. Should probably go find some water. Actually, we've barely even touched this side over on the right. Should probably do. Because, yeah, there's, there's water over here at the very least. No raw resources, surprisingly enough. But yeah, I can just go with this. Would I ever do like a modded playthrough of Terraria? I am way more likely to do a modded uh, run of Starbound, I think. Terraria, it's not a bad game. I've just played it so many times. And I always felt the balance was kind of off. Starbound at least felt like it had some kind of interesting stuff. There is stuff down there, actually. Swim here and protect Footsie so Cleo can run off. I'm pretty sure Shoes can't swim. Cleo sees how much you don't know about Shoes. How else did they get down there in the moon juice? Okay, well, let's go drop off our money. Oh, talk to people. I'm great at wrestling robots, you know? I wrestled one just the other week. I almost didn't get hurt or nothing. All I had to do is regrow one of my arms is all. Luckily, it wasn't my stabbing arm. Stabby, stabby, stab! These people are indestructible, apparently. Yeah, we should be nice and wealthy here. How much money is that? Whoosh. That's some stuff. So here's the thing. Um, what do we need? Water would be nice, health would be nice. Getting up to Hobo King could work.
Okay, so now we can get Hobo King. So what we're gonna do is every time I come back on town, I'm gonna take off Double Rainbow and flip on Hobo King. I mean, technically, if I could get to Yuppie Kaye. But that's really pricey. It doesn't work like that. That's not how it works, so I can't flip it on. So I'd have to have it. It only works when mining. Okay. All right. Well, what do we do? Dual Depot. Bounty Hunter. Turn off Dual Depot. Malta vaccination, probably. And that's enough for Hobo King. Oh, it gives instant cash when you collect low value resources. Oh, that's that is interesting. Okay, yeah, let's just roll this for a little while. I consider playing Mad Max. Maybe someday. Maybe as like a um, as a Patreon thing. Yeah, I was not actually reading that description that much. I was just like, I think I know what this does, but no, it's an instant cash value, just like the other stuff. So if we get bloodstones from those guys, does that give me hobo? I wonder if I could. Oh, I wonder if I could flip on the bounty bounty hunter thing. Oh, be great if we could find a combo combo area. A combo combat. If I could find a combat area. Okay, let's check Bloodstone. How much money do I get? So I get I get six money per blood drop. Yeah. So if I wanted to really really do some um, uh, fob fob my marms, I would turn on the blood bounty and just go mob farming. That would be interesting. Kind of really risky. Unfortunately, we do not have a whole lot of resources for this right now. Unfortunately, Hobo King's probably going to have to... The drop is six. Okay, let's stay away from that. I don't feel like fighting these birds. I could, but I don't I don't really don't feel like it. Okay. Oh yeah, we got 3 from that one. Yeah, so that's kind of helpful. We're going to need a pickaxe upgrade for this though. Cuz we're actually um Maybe get out of here. Okay, cool. Oh yeah, I've got the grappling hook. What am I saying? I can get out of here. But yeah, we might want to head for that that portal fairly soon. Or not that portal, that temple. Cause This has taken some hits to go down. And I'd like to start getting pickaxe upgrades again. Hobo King would have been really useful at a much earlier date, or if I hadn't been such a completionist. But because I'm a completionist, it's kind of only paying small dividends when I need, like, legit ones. Those guys really aren't worth going for. Oh, really? Yes, yeah, probably isn't worth it. Okay. Nothing there? Nothing there. This is cool though. Let me see. Yeah, we gotta get back up. But I'm gonna head for the uh I'm gonna head for the uh the temple. 
I'll go take a look at that. Because, yeah, I think I've kind of milked this place clean. So, if we wanted to do something in, uh, silly, which is tempting. There we go. Uh, I'm going to just destroy these so I have an easier way back. Oh, yeah, I can even go down. Um, if I wanted to do something really silly, and it's super tempting to do so, I just... We'd have to find a good spot for it. You know what? We could try it. There's got to be there's got to be a cave with a, a critter nearby. Let's see. Let's see if I can do uh, a little bit of pugilism in a fun way. Okay, so let's uh cogs. So we need one cog. So if I go over here, buy a cog from this guy. Oh, sorry. Uh, something passed. Oh, her dad passed away a little while ago. Uh, and that's so sad. Ah, oh, now that's some sad news. I always thought he was going to outlive us all. Out of pure spite, if nothing less. I thought so too. So her, her dad passed away somewhere in the process. Anyway, so we've got upgrade cogs. Unfortunately, the next one is going to be 100. Yeah, the price goes up. Well, once I have some more, uh, then we'll do it. But yeah, this is this is enough to afford what I need. Uh, even if this is a bit insane pants. I want to try it. Oh, wait. No, if we're doing insane pants, we want to be up here. Okay, not this one. Probably this one? Nope, not this one. One of these caves has to have critters. Commonly hiding at them. Wish I did more damage, admittedly. But if we can find one of these that has, like, uh, critters just hanging out the entrance, one or two. Not this one. Wow. Wow. It's neat that the, the creatures just kind of are permanently there. Ow. Or not permanently there, but they respawn. Yeah, we, with our chance to heal ourselves, it should be doable. Oh, neat. Okay, is this, is this a good one? No. Okay, so this is not a good one. They don't drop anything. Not there. We'll keep going. One of these caves has to have a critter on it. That spawns fairly early on. Because if I can have just a, a critter cave... First or second had spawners. Yeah, well, we don't want full spawners, though. We just want partial spawners. Uh, we could go all the way up. Oh. Maybe the cave on the left? I don't know. Yeah, let's, I'm gonna give up on this. We don't, we really don't need to do money farming. I'm fairly wealthy, all things considered. Okay, so let's do cogs. Honestly, I think I'm going to get rid of Hobo King in favor of some more useful upgrades. Unless I can't think of anything better. That's not that useful. Reduce fall damage, not that useful. Pump up jam, most of these are not that great. Let's make it so my pressure bombs don't hurt me at the very least. Light radius. Dual depot. And that'll do. Okay. So how do we get pa- I have no idea. Ah, oh, yes, you found ten fascinating artifacts. If you're not... Okay, that was it. Have you been to the temple on the other side of the windy, windy plains? Those runs are mostly uncharted. The temple's always been treacherous. My old colleague, Ronald Hubbard, was the only one who dared venture down there. What happened to him? Oh, he uh, appeared... Or he apparently had some sort of ghastly vision foretelling the end of the world. He's been holed up in the temple, gathering all sorts of mad bots around him. I can just imagine what wonderful artifacts they are still hidden away in those runes. 
Actually, idea. Cogs. We want double rainbow. Maybe we do go Hobo King for this. We don't need large than light. I will go Hobo King for this one. Only barely. Now, I assume the winds have gone away? Maybe? So does this take before or after SteamWorld Heist? I believe this is the uh, this is the direct prequel to SteamWorld Heist. Because they're building rockets, there's earthquakes, end of the world. Wow, look at the crash site. Glorious destruction. Let's hope the professor's making some real improvements to the new rocket back town. Back at town. Mm-hmm. Like adding lasers and stuff to it. Okay, I wonder if I can... Okay, so I can use the grappling hook to traverse. That's cool. And yeah, I can use the grappling hook to just hold on freely. So how did the world get destroyed in this game? Uh, they never really, uh, they never really said. They just kind of said the world got destroyed somewhere along the way, and the implication was it got destroyed at the end of SteamWorld Dig 1. But we know for a fact that's false if this is a follow-up. Wow. Oh. Balls. Because we got goodies down here. Isn't Fen the name of your electric party member in SteamWorld Heist? Yeah, he is. So Fen is. <sighs> I can get it. Uh, Fen is a carryover character. I really hope they actually have Steam World Dig 2, or maybe even like a slightly later expansion or something. Oh, jeez. Okay. Yeah, I actually thought the uh, the map stopped, and that the the winds weren't anything in this. But it looks like we've actually got uh, quite the level here. This is cool. And now we are now we're free to do, go wherever and do whatever. Yeah, this is this is quite possibly one of the better atypical Metroidvanias I've ever played. I really like this. Okay, so we can go back whenever we feel like it. I guess I, I do have a cog. Two cogs if I bought another one, if I wanted to. Well, hello. Oh, great destroyer! The end must surely be nigh! Um, is that a statue of Rusty you're bowing to? Yes! The great Rusty is the destroyer that was promised! It was foretold by our great prophet. He has seen the coming of the blessed end. You guys just find stuff to worship all over the place, don't you? The guiding light, this infidel has removed you from the temple of guidance. I shall sacrifice her parts in cleansing fire. Oh, that's, that's amusing. I can just like turn him around. Of course, I took a lot more damage there than I wanted to because I was just messing with him and the uh, grappling hook. I 
I get the feeling we have to fight the big old rusty statue as a boss. Maybe, probably, hello. That's a thing. The gate's not moving. This lever is useless. Maybe I just need to power it up somehow. What? Oh, I, oh, lava. Wait, oh, I will be reassembled in town. I was not expecting that, that's okay. Well, that's okay, we already got the fast travel, so it doesn't really matter. But hey, and we're full health. And no cutscene this time, or enemy dudes, nope. We saw where that takes us. Yeah, there's a cup there. Oh, I gotcha. Those are bricks that are destructible. They blend in a little bit too much. But I will keep that in mind. Okay, so we still can't get past that giant golem, but whatever. These cultists are in all insane. Yeah, pretty much. Well, I do miss zapping them. We can go in there and see if we can find some more. I want to find that prophet of theirs. He might know where Rusty is. We Ow. Crap fall master. Uh. Okay, so they're like explodey. Floaty bird bots. Can I kill them with a grappling? I can kill them with a grappling hook. Sadly, it doesn't look like they're. It doesn't really look like they're worth the money. Otherwise, well, they don't. They don't get me cash. Unlike, uh, unlike the other guys. They do give me EXP though. If I want to farm EXP, this would not be a bad spot. 